So wouldn't it be great if there was a way to add markers into your OBS recordings when something happens so that you didn't have to spend hours later on looking through your footage while you're editing to be able to get back to that exact moment? In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do just that. First off, welcome to the channel. My name is Mark and I stream live here on YouTube weekly. If you found this video helpful by the end, consider subscribing and liking it. It really helps me out and it also lets me know that you guys wanna see more content like this. Now, I quickly wanna mention before we get any further into the video that this method does require you to have some kind of video editing software. The great part is, is that it should work with any kind of video editing software, whether it's Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Pro, if you're one of those people, but whatever you use, it should work. This isn't just limited to gaming footage like I do, Whatever industry you're in, if you use OBS to record and you have long recordings and you want to be able to set markers to be able to jump back to those points when you're editing, this method will work great. Now, how does adding these markers to your recordings actually work? It's quite simple. We'll be triggering a sound that will be on a separate audio track that when it's triggered will be a visual marker for us to go back to when we're editing our footage. This method is actually one I came up with when I was trying to find videos on how to do this exact thing and just couldn't find anything on just being able to simply add a marker to a point during my recordings so I could go back and then get that exact clip. If you happen to stream like me, we'll actually be able to set up the audio routing so that your stream, your recording, and yourself won't be able to hear the beep, but when you go to edit the footage, it will still be there. To get started, we'll need an audio file we can use to trigger as the marker. For my recordings, I just use a loud audio beep so I can see that clearly on the timeline when I'm editing my footage. If you would also like to use this audio file, feel free to head to my Discord link in the description, head to the free downloads channel on my Discord, and I'll leave a download link for you guys there. Once you have an audio file that you're ready to use, we need to add it into OBS as a media source and make sure you add it to any scene that you want to be able to trigger the marker on. Next, let's set up the audio routing. First, head into your OBS settings, click output, and on your streaming channel, set your audio track to one, and then head over to your recording channel, untick one, and then tick whatever channel you'd like to use for your desktop audio, which for me is two, and then whatever channel you have free that is next, which for me is six, but for you would probably be two or three. Click OK and then head back to the main OBS screen, down to your audio mixer, right click and go advanced audio properties. By default, all the tracks here from one to six will be ticked for each source you have. To give you a quick explanation on how this track section works, whatever channels you have ticked from one to six for each source is where it will send that audio to. So for our stream, we're gonna set anything that we want our stream to hear to one, which won't be our audio beep, but will be our desktop audio, our mic, etc. And then when it comes to your recordings, however many channels you had selected in your recording panel, so for me, it was from two to six, that means I would have five audio tracks in my timeline when I drag my footage into Premiere Pro. And the reason I have so many audio channels selected, which you might not, is because I actually route my different applications audio to different channels. So my game volume is on one channel, my microphone is on another audio channel, my Discord, my Spotify, and then finally my marker beep. And so what that allows me to do is when I'm editing my footage, I can just, if I want to, I can take out people talking in my Discord during my gameplay. I can turn up my microphone. I can turn down my game volume because they're all on separate audio channels and it gives me a lot of freedom to be able to make sure I can edit my footage the way I want. If you'd like to see a tutorial in the future on how to separate your audio channels like this, feel free to leave me a comment below. Now, back to the advanced audio properties panel. As we set our streaming channel to one, we want to make sure that we select everything that we want our stream to hear, including our game audio, microphone, alerts, etc but not the audio marker. Now for the recordings, we wanna make sure we can separate our game audio, microphone, alerts, and lastly, our audio marker all onto separate channels. Another quick note here is to make sure that you're only selecting channels that you've enabled back in the recording panel. Otherwise, these will not show up as audio tracks when it comes time to editing. And the last step here is to set up our marker trigger. This trigger will play the audio clip when we wanna set a marker and then deactivate it so it's ready to be triggered again next time we wanna set another marker. I actually have this set up as a button on my Elgato Stream Deck so I can simply press that during my gameplay and that will set a marker during my recordings. If you own a Stream Deck and would like to set this up for yourself, it's quite easy. Open the Stream Deck software on your computer, 
right click a blank square and click create a multi action. In the search bar up the top right, type OBS until you find OBS Studio and then find the source tab and drag this in twice. Head back up to the search bar and type delay and add this between the two source items. On the first source tab, find the scene you're using and then set the source file to the audio file you would like to trigger and ensure it's set to active. On the bottom source tab, we'll set the scene and the source to be the exact same, but we will set the action to deactivate. And then for the delay, we just need to make sure we add enough time so the sound can be played so it doesn't turn on and off straight away. In my case, it's about 1.5 seconds. If you don't have a stream deck, don't fret because you can still do this method just within OBS. Head into your OBS settings, go down to hotkeys, and then set a hotkey to activate and also deactivate the audio marker in the same way. Now, once you've finished with your recordings, simply take your footage into whatever editing software you use, and you should see all the audio tracks we set up earlier, including the one with the audio marker. And now we just need to look for when the audio clip was triggered, and that's what you can visually use as a marker for your clips. And that's basically it. You're now ready to go. So I hope this video helped you. If it did, like I mentioned earlier, please consider subscribing and also like it. It really helps me and the channel out. If you want to see more of this content, feel free to leave a comment on the video, jump into my live chat whenever I'm live. But otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.